Hello out there in the interwebs, you have your tubes tuned to Kendall Bruni, and I derped pretty hard, though, viewers. I thought that I was recording, and I wasn't, so I did basically an entire episode, except I didn't. So, that kind of sucks. <laughs> what did I do? Well, I went ahead and played around with some of the Quantum Flex stuff. I made this RF Entangler, which is very expensive to make. Um, it requires... Uh, a ZBQ7 is what it's called, and to make that you need a block of diamond, three blocks of redstone, two blocks of gold, and two blocks of lapis. And that gives you two of those ZBQs. And then it takes another uh, 12 diamonds for that, and then another bunch of diamonds for things. Basically all told it's going to set you back over a stack, over a half a stack of diamonds. In fact, close to a full stack of diamonds to be able to make the RF Entangler and the cubit cell. And why do I want those two things? Well, with the RF Entangler, it works kind of like a capacitor, except it will, it makes this, uh, it calls it the red flux field, which is a big fat wireless redstone flux thing. And someone, are these working? Oh yeah, that's <laughs> it's because I've got a whole bunch of machines going. Um, anyway, <laughs> sorry I got distracted. It's a uh, mix for a big old wireless redstone flex field, and you can use the qubit cell to charge stuff in your inventory off of that field, or you can use I believe they're called RF exciters, which are little kind of plate things, and they work kind of like tesseracts, except they only uh, send energy from this field to wherever you put it on. So they're pretty cool. And I mostly wanted that because I want to put redstone flux on my tools. I want to make some new uh, tools, tinker tools, and for that I really want to have flux because what I've just set up here, that and this guy, means that my tools will literally never break. I mean like right now the moss is doing just fine on my tools. Uh, but if I want to get into some really hard use on them, I'm going to need more stuff than what I've got. Do I have any more shiny in there? Still still shy by one shiny low of yours, but that's alright because I need uh I need more ender pearls anyway for it. <laughs> so, what are we gonna do today? Well <laughs> I wanna fight the wither, loyal viewers. Uh, we are not ready to fight the the wither right now though. Uh, not even close. We need a little bit more resources and stuff, so while I wait for those resources to come in, I think I'm gonna play around with some more storage because we also made this storehouse and it works a lot like the uh, applied energistics thing except there's no crafting grid on it and I really like having that crafting grid loyal viewers so what I'm gonna actually do I'm going to apply an ME terminal to this thing because you can put a storage bus on him and do that with a uh, terminal and you can use it just like any other kind of storage so it'll work really well and it's a lot cheaper than trying to go through the uh, applied energistics <laughs> storage systems, which I'll probably get into eventually anyway, because uh, this thing will hold a lot of stuff, but it is not going to hold the kind of stuff that a uh, a hardcore R uh, AE2 uh, setup will do. So, first things first, whenever you're going to play around with uh, applied energistics, you need to find some water. <laughs> and I am not even kidding. Alright, need to turn off our magnet. And you also need to find yourself some charged surges quartz. Now you can charge up uh, regular surges quartz in a little charger thing that Applied Energistics has. But right now I just have these four that I've managed to find mining. So you toss in that, one, two, that, those, and some of those. And there they go. You just throw that all in water and you get. <laughs> <laughs> Fluix crystals. And these are kind of the base of everything in Applied Energistics. Uh, another thing that's the base of just about everything in Applied Energistics is the inscriber. So, what am I going to want to do first? I don't think I have enough to uh, do that just yet. Nope, I definitely don't. So, let's make the inscriber. I need two sticky pistons. I need the flux crystal and some iron. So, we'll go over here. We need some slime. We need 
some iron. We need some redstone. We need some wood. Do 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 do. Not as use a stupid rubber wood. Um, I call it stupid rubber wood because it gives you jungle planks, but instead of four per log, it only gives you three per log. So it's kind of annoying, but it works. And we need some of that. So I'm sure you guys all know how to make a sticky piston, but just in case you don't, you make a regular piston first, and it helps if you have wood. So it is wood across the top. We are making two of them. Iron there, that goes there, and those go there. Two of these, plus slime balls, make sticky pistons. Alright, what else do I need for a regular inscriber? I have everything else. Alright, this is the inscriber. <laughs> and that is obnoxious. I need a... are they presses? Yes, they are. One, two, three, and four. So, to use the inscriber, you need those uh, presses that I just pulled out of my inventory. And those are kind of a pain in the butt to find. Uh, let's pull up out my journey map so I can show you. Uh, my journey map is not very well updated, or at least not while I'm inside the base. Let's see if it's any better outside the base. There we go. Much better. Alright, so when you wander around in the, in the overworld, you'll sometimes find these right here. That's a meteor. And in the middle of that meteor will usually be a chest. And in that chest you have a chance of getting some of those presses. Now it's not a uh, it's not a great chance. You're gonna probably need to go find four or five of them. Uh, I got lucky and actually found this meteor, and it had three of the four. Uh, no, this meteor had three of the four uh, things that I needed, and then that meteor had the last one that I needed. So I got really lucky. <clears throat> and then. Then, 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 then. Oh, we got some more ender pearls going on. Give me. I really need some more ender lily seeds. You can get more ender lily seeds from these, but it's really rare. And I haven't actually had uh, any of them give me an extra seed yet. I'm also going to need some sand. Oh, shovel leveled up. Huzzah! And let's go ahead and just turn the magnet back on. How much sand do I have? 12. I need way more than that. Because another thing you need for applied energistics is uh, silicon. Can I dig these ones? Yep. And you get silicon from putting sand in the sag mill. And I believe that is the only way to actually get it. Uh, oh, you can get it, I think, from putting clay in a sand in a sag mill, but. Um, Honestly, I usually have trouble finding clay. 48, 49, 50, 51. Can I dig this one? Oh, I sure can. Can I dig that one? I can. How far back? There. Do, 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 do. And. There's 58. 59, 60. 61, 62, 63, 64. There we go. We'll do a full stack of sand. And gonna make sure that I've got some flint. Because if you're going to do your sag mill, little viewers, you will very likely have some flint lying around somewhere. So you might as well toss the flint in there because it'll give you a better chance of getting stuff. Uh, yeah, so it gives you 120% main output, 125% bonus output, and it reduces the power a little bit. So you're probably going to have a whole bunch of it laying around anyway, little viewers. There we go. And there we go, silicon. It is not guaranteed for you to get one uh, when you do your sand. Uh, I'm getting really lucky though. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit more than what I put in, so at least at the moment. So yeah, you need the silicons because this is the silicon press. You will need. You can actually copy these presses. Uh, if you put the press in and then a block of iron, you can get another one, and that's really good if you if you um, want to get like a really serious setup going. But I'm not going to get too incredibly far into it, little viewers. In fact, that there should be more than what I need. So, 
the way this works, you put in your, the applicable press, you put in the applicable material for that press, and phew, it spits out the uh, thing. Now, this is the regular inscriber from uh, Applied Energetics 2, and it kind of sucks. It's slow, you can only put one thing in, it's obnoxious, and no, no, no. The advanced inscriber, however, is very, very nice. And I need one more of those. I need to go grab my diamonds. Yes, the advanced inscriber is very nice because you can put in a whole stack of whatever you want to do and it'll do it. And it's just, in general, a lot nicer to work with. I need diamonds. Still pretty low on diamonds, though, viewers, but I'm also starting to get to the point where I don't need a whole bunch of stuff that uses diamonds. So I needed two of those. I need... I believe diamonds are the engineering press. Yep, there we go. Two of those. Do -do 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 ding. The engineering circuit. So when you have that, and this guy shows up. Alright, now you notice that there are three slots for stuff. Well, it's because not only can you use the uh, presses in them, you have to use the inscriber to actually make your guys. And it takes one printed silicon, one of the appropriate circuit, and one redstone to make the appropriate uh, processor. And there's engineering, uh, there's there's a bunch of different processors. You will need to use surges quartz, uh, nether quartz? No, surges quartz, gold, and diamonds, depending on the processor you need. So, got that, got that. So let's pick this guy back up. Where's my pick? Where it's not on my hotbar. Helps to have your pick on the hotbar, little viewers. All right, so we grab that guy, grab this guy, and we need to make a couple chests. Do I have some chests? I have one chest there, and I have some more chests just sitting over there, practically begging to be used. And I need some more iron. There we go. And I'll just punch this chest down. I made these chests a while ago because my inventory was getting crowded, but uh, now I don't really need them there because I have the storehouse. Do 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 do. -do. do there's how you make a hopper. Hopper, hopper, that thing. Press, press, and iron in the corners. There we go. And this is the AE2 stuff, advanced inscriber. This is really what you want to use if you're going to play around with the AE2 level viewers. Boom. Because, well, let me just show you. That thing, and I can put the entire stack in. I can also put in speed upgrades and such. Uh, why are you not... Hmm. Ah, I know why. You need the energy acceptor, don't you? Mm. The energy acceptor. This is kind of obnoxious. <laughs> if I'm going to be honest, little viewers. Um, because for whatever reason, you can't just plug power into the apl most uh, applied energistic stuff. You need to plug it into the energy acceptor and then route that power to your various uh, AE2 stuff. So, we need some quartz glass, which means we need some ground up quartz or another quartz and some glass. Well I have some quartz here. I have a crusher. One, two, three, four, five. Do I have another shiny yet? Nope. <laughs> Every time I look in there I'm gonna go, do I get another shiny? Nope. Alright, um glass. And I do have enough glass. Though only just, I need to get some more glass going off camera, little viewers. Listen to that thing clank. All right, ah, my frames. Do 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 do. All right, so we go glass, 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 glass. Speaking of glass, um, recently we did the episode about the Ganny's Nether stuff. The most of the stuff you can pretty much use right away. But these guys, the quartzberry bushes, you don't just go bam and you get quartz. No, you uh, smack those and you get the quartzberries. And you have to combine those with glass to get quartz. Let's just go ahead and harvest this whole field. 
do 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 do. There we are. And I believe I have enough of these to uh, fill up the field now. Do 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 do. Just doing that while the uh, while the quartz gets crushing, and I think that's all the plots. Also, I think it's fun. These things make uh, blaze sounds. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and toss these, toss those away, toss that away. Rotten flesh. I don't know where that came from. Well, a zombie, obviously. <laughs> All right. Um, our crusher should be done. There we go. I hear a skeleton. It's probably underneath me. And we go do 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 do. There we go. Quartz glass. And I think I have everything else. There we go. There's the energy acceptor. And yeah, you're going to need this for pretty much all of your AE2 stuff. So just smack him off. Do that. And... Do that. And now he has energy. Good. So we'll stick that on there. And we will stick that on there. And now it's going to go ahead and make some more of those silicons. So why do I need more silicons? Well... Yeah, I'm going to sleep. Uh, I need more silicons because I need to make several little things to be able to make the terminal for that guy. What do I need? Well, I need the terminal. Wait for it. There we go. The crafting terminal, to be precise. So I need a calculation processor. Um... Ah, uh, yes, it only uses the pure sort of quartz. So, we're going to make the charger, little viewers. Because you need pure sort of quartz to be able to do that, and I do not have enough fluix to make the advanced uh, crystal ch uh, growing chamber. Uh, well, that's easy enough to make. Just need to grab a little more iron. And that's my phone! I'll be back in a second, little viewers! And I'm back, little viewers. All right, so what we were going on about? We were going on about the charger. Get some iron because finding regular surface quartz is kind of a or charged surface quartz is kind of a pain in the butt. And get some. I mean, finding regular surface quartz isn't bad at all. If you go around caving at all, you'll probably be stumbling over all kinds of the stuff. But charged surface quartz is a fair bit rarer. So let's turn that all into iron. Radiant charger. Hmm. Anyway, charger. Go. Just need one. Do 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 do. And you may have noticed when I was doing that that there were some of these that had looked like the uh, crystal was turning. Well, that's because you can make regular fluix, or you can make purified fluix. And I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Can I just put that straight onto the cord? That'd be easy if I could. All right, you must want to be hooked up specially. Does on top work for you? It does. All right, so as you can see, there's no GUI for this. All you do is slap that in there, and it says contain surface quartz crystal. Now it says contains charged surface quartz crystal, and that's all you do for that, really. <laughs> and then of course you go and chuck them in a uh, pool of water, and you get some more of the uh, fluix dust. Fluix dust, fluix crystals. There we go. And I don't know how many of these I'm going to need because I need six blocks of uh, fluix, but it works a lot like the nether quartz in, in that it only takes four fluix to make a block. Um, also, you get two per one of these, so I'm going to need at least <laughs> at least twelve of these. How many do I have right now? Nine. 10. I'm going to need a little bit more than that too because you need a lot of fluix crystals for making uh, some of the various uh, glasses, the cables and stuff for for applied energetics. It is quite a rabbit hole, low of viewers, but it is also a very powerful mod for automating stuff. I mean, if you want to pretty much literally modify or modify, automate everything, then applied energetics is the mod you want to play with. Um, 
I've seen Botania has a decent amount of uh, cool automation stuff, but it's it's more being a cooler way to do a lot of stuff that you would be able to do in vanilla. Um, like for example, it has a uh, Botania has a, an hourglass that will that you can set to give a redstone tick, a redstone pulse every whatever seconds you want. Uh, so that's really cool. And we're almost done with these. <coughs> oh, excuse me, loud viewers. Um, we're going to go toss some of these in some more water. I might toss them in the water that's on top of the barrel over there. <laughs> Just to be a little bit different. Because it does not take a whole lot of um, water to do it in. I mean, you can do it all in one little source block. So, there we go. Boing. Jump up there. Jump up there. There we go. And need to turn the magnet off. Mm. Alright. And need a little bit more redstone. Always need more redstone, little viewers. This stuff has infinite uses. Alright, over there, over here, up, up here. Up, get out of there. There we go. Toss in those. Toss in those. Toss in those. Mm. All right, let's try that again. Ding, ding, and ding. Boom, boom, boom. There. How about that? Let's try backing up a little bit more. <laughs> Failing so hard, low viewers. There we go. Look at him go. Much better. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so the growth chamber. Now with regular applied energetics you can make these crystal growth accelerators which you basically put them woo, you put them around a uh, a bit of water and it will accelerate the growth and you, it'll work pretty well but it's still you know you're throwing stuff into the world and it's kind of it is one of the weirdest pieces of uh, of applied energetics I'll be honest Alright, so to do this, we need to get some of these. So I need to crunch up a whole bunch more nether quartz. Q U A R. Um, I'll just do half a stack of nether quartz. Because, I mean, I've got a decent amount of nether quartz. But I need a lot more of that glass. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it here, little viewers. And when we return. I should have everything I need to make that advanced growth chamber and then we should be able to get that guy set up into a miniature AE2 system so I shall be back in a moment little viewers and I'm back little viewers so we were messing around with some uh, applied energistics and I needed to get some pure certus quartz so we're gonna need six of these guys these are the uh, crystal growth accelerators and because I'm not gonna bother with doing a puddle and that kind of stuff no I'm going to make the crystal growth chamber this is from the AE2 stuff mod we've been playing on some of the stuff from there um, I also have my sojourner sash off for the moment because I want to try to get a bit of mana so we put it next to the thingy it is getting energy now the way you make now the way you use this you need to crunch up your quartz and put it with some sand and you get some seeds and you notice you get two seeds and you just stick them in there and you can see it's just slowly going up already uh... no this doesn't this might not seem too impressive but if you're not using a crystal growth chamber this process will literally take hours um, you'll be s <laughs> they'll be sitting in your puddle for almost literally an entire day before they become a purified surgis quartz. Uh, but for this, pretty much by the time I was done explaining, it's finished. And bing, there we go. Pure surgis quartz. And I need to grab the da, 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 engineering press, I believe. No, the calculation press. Engineering is for diamonds. Calculation is for pure surgis quartz. So. Uh, so I forgot, also forgot to grab the silicon, so I'll just let that go and go grab a silicon because 
You also may have noticed I've got a thing over by this guy here. I need the silicon, just one of those, and a redstone, just one. There we are. Anyway, you might notice that I have an energy uh, acceptor over there by the uh, storage thing. So I'll pull out you, we'll put you, and you. There we go. Eats up all the stuff. That thing goes really quickly too, actually. There we are. Calculation processor. Uh, now you need the calculation processor in order to make something. I don't even remember. <laughs> uh, I know I've got all the ingredients set up for it, but I forget what I'm actually making at the moment, little viewers. We are making a terminal. Do do do. This guy. That's why we need the calculation processor. So we need some of these illuminated panels. We also need these. This is a formation core and an annihilation core. And I believe it's just one, one, and one. And that one. There we go. This is a regular ME terminal. And then we go that one, this guy, and this guy, the thing we just made. Now we have our crafting terminal. There we go. And we also need one last thing. We need that storage bus that I was talking about. We need that and that. So it just so happens that to make when we make this, we make what we need to make this interface. And then we go that interface, one of these, and one of those, and you get the ME storage bus. So this thing you can use to basically hook up whatever kind of storage you want to an ME system. Uh, usually people use it for like caches and stuff, but if we just stick it on the storehouse, and then we'll take some Fluix cable, and then if we put our crafting terminal right here, if I did it right, there we go. Now we have all of our stuff in the uh, terminal here. and. I like this a lot better than the other one, though you can change the size, sort order, search box mode, small centered, tall centered, small centered, tall centered. Okay, that's that's the size I'm going to do. Usually, I thought you can set it up to have a, a bigger size and stuff, but this is the size that it's going to be for me. So, now that if I want to make something, I can just right click on that, and it'll show all my stuff, and it won't show like if you look at the iron, so I've got all those iron blocks which are taking up a whole bunch of space or they're just sitting right there. So yeah, this is why I really like uh, AE2 and this is probably my favorite part of, of uh, Applied Energistics 2 is the the storage stuff. The little crafting terminal is so very nice and you may, you may notice I just put those uh, enchanting books away because I enchanted my pants too. <laughs> we also have, I believe, whoop, we have three pearls. I need one more pearl to be able to make the, uh, whoa, that was weird. I'm not sure if it shows up in the video, but I had a big old flickering white screen there for a second. Anyway, um, man, I forgot what I was talking about. I was coming over here looking for a shiny. Yes, um, I need one more broken platinum ore, and I need one more ender pearl, and we can start making ourselves some in-game tools. And since we're that close to it, we can work on some of the other stuff that I need for end game. What do I need for end game? Well, I need to get into at least a little bit of Thalmcraft, little viewers. So I think that's what we're going to do next time. As for this time, that's going to do it. What have we done? Well, we've dived through a bit of uh, Applied Energistics. So, that's going to do it for this time, little viewers. Until next time, I shall catch you on the flip side. Laters.